What is up guys, it's Matthew here. Today we're gonna be talking about, ow, this ground's hot. We're gonna be talking about, there we go, uh, starting on a hill. First of all, I wanna say thank you guys so much because on my last video where I was giving some tips for new riders and stuff, um, it's probably been one of the most encouraging and inspirational responses that I've ever gotten on my channel. And you guys are really awesome. And yeah, so I just want to say thanks because it has definitely motivated me to keep coming out here and doing more. So anyways, uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So I think I know exactly where to go and I will talk to you guys about it on my way there because this ground's really hot and I want to I wanna get up now. Okay, bye. Can you hear me? The red light's flashing. Guys, this is just covered with smoke. Everything is so smoky. <laughs> All right, are we recording? Yes, we are. Guys, it is so smoky out here. I think this is like every year. The one thing, we may may have some really cool scenery and stuff to ride, but man, the smoke every year. Getting so annoying. <laughs> Anyway, so we're on our way there. I think we're getting pretty close. I kind of have to find it again. It's this is really neat. I really appreciate the suggestion to uh, to make a video on on starting on a hill because it made me think about where there might be a hill in my area, and it reminded me way back in the day when I was a little girl, we used to ride our skateboards down this hill and i was like wait a minute i haven't visited this place since i was a kid and i used to spend every single weekend after school here so this is going to be kind of like a little flashback for me um definitely looking forward to it uh but anyways yeah so again i want to say thank you guys uh for just the support the support's been like fantastic and and i just i don't have words to explain how grateful i am for that uh so yeah yeah just know that i appreciate it very much anyways so as we're getting closer i should probably let you guys know because most of my riding has been done on flat ground i, I don't really have a lot of hills around me i'm not a professional at this i'm not i'm not skilled at this i've never had to do it um so i will be kind of learning it at the same time i have an idea in my head i imagine probably the the, the rear brake is going to be beneficial uh, because, I mean, you can't front brake and try to throttle it up, you know, when you're letting out the clutch, it's, it just won't work, I don't think. My, my fingers are not nimble enough to make that happen. I'm sure somebody can, but it ain't me. So, I'm assuming it's going to be the rear brake. Uh, so, but I do hope that presenting this from... Uh, a, a standpoint of learning it while I'm showing you guys will actually help because then you will see that it's like it's it's possible to just come out here and experiment with things and figure out how to do it on your own um, it's it's completely possible and I encourage it you know even if you have no destination just go on rides the more time you're sitting in in on the bike the better I think this is it. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Um, I'm gonna let me look around first. Hold on, this ain't it. One of these, one of these hills is just massive, and I don't remember which one it was. They must have just resurfaced this road because there is just gravel everywhere, which is gonna make this even sketchier. The end of this road looks promising it just drops it just drops into the abyss I think this might be it yeah this is gonna work uh-huh it's not the one I'm looking for but this is gonna work just fine all right so what I'm doing here so you guys also know is I'm pulling in the clutch and I'm actually using both my front and back brake because there's a lot of gravel on the road and I don't want to just rely on one I feel like it would 
probably uh, slide a little bit so I'm gonna use both all right so here we are let's see back brake it's fine okay so I hope this helps for you guys so if you're at a stop sign I'm figuring this out while I'm telling you okay if you're at a stoplight or something and you're on a hill so this is a very real situation it could be very confusing um, while you're sitting there you can have both brakes down that's fine I'm keeping it in first with the clutch completely disengaged I'm pulling it in and I can let go of this one but my foot is still I don't know if you guys can see it let me move the camera my foot is still pushing on this back brake and the reason I'm doing that is because when I have to use the throttle to try to go up I, it's gonna be just weird to try to use this front brake at the same time so I'm gonna rely on the back brake mind you I've never tried this before so I'm hoping this I'm hoping this theory works so what we're doing is we're gonna give it a little extra throttle than we normally would and then feather off the clutch and while we're feathering off the clutch we're going to release the brake just when we feel like we're not going to be rolling backwards ready here we go there we go and i let off the brake completely let off the, the clutch and we're good all right look at that it's not so bad i'm gonna go find another hill and i'm gonna do it one more time and I think this is a great place to practice it too because this, there's all these little tiny rocks on the road and it's making the traction weird. It's making turning weird. Um, I think they just resurfaced this road. Um, so yeah, this is a great, yeah, like I said, it's a great opportunity to show you guys uh, when you're going down a hill too. My, my clutch, I'm still in first. My clutch is completely disengaged. I'm using just a little bit of both the front and the back brake. You know, because the gravel, it's unknown. I don't know how it's going to react to my bike. And so having the, the braking power spread out like that uh, reduces the chance of your bike sliding. Now, don't slam on the back brake. The back brake is just a little bit. Both of them are just a little bit. So we could do it here too. So I'm going to use both of them. And again, it's just a little bit. I'm not stopping. I'm just slowing down. That's all I'm doing. So, yeah. I'm going to go find one more hill. And we're going to do it again just for you guys. Paloma. That's a familiar name. Man, I had so many years here. There's a, a creek nearby. And... When I was a kid, a childhood friend used to live up here, and just every single weekend, man, we would get our skateboards from the very top of this hill. Like, this isn't the steep portion of the hill, the steep part's on the, the back side of it, but this whole thing here is an incline. So we would grab our skateboards at the very top and just cruise all the way down. And it was just enough to go fast, but it wasn't so much that you lose control. It was perfect. Um, and then, of course, you have this little break right here. Ah, oh, man. So many ah oh, memories, guys. This is so cool. <laughs> Who would have guessed I'd be coming back here again when, when I'm an old fart? Yeah, this is the hill where dreams are made. It's not as steep as the first one. But that's okay. It's got a little cul-de-sac at the end here. I wonder actually... Hmm. It doesn't feel as steep as it was. The first one we did was a little bit worse. Um, so what we'll do is... I think the other side is a little bit steeper. Or is this a dead end now? Oh, it's a dead end now. What? No outlet. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, you can see it. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Um, so we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to come up here. We're going to come to a stop. And I'm going to come to a stop like part way up. So I'm not just like at a flat spot on the bottom. So we're going to go like right here. I think this is a good spot to explain it. 
So when I'm coming to the stop, I'm using my front brake, clutch is in, my front brake coming to the stop so I could put my foot down, get some balance. Because for me, it's just more comfortable with my right foot down first. And then I'm going to shift over to my left foot, put my right foot on the rear brake. You don't have to do it exactly like that. I'm just explaining my process. So I'm pushing down my right brake, keeping the clutch in. I'm going to let go, make sure we're good. So I'm just making sure, always do everything carefully. And we're gonna do this again. So as we're letting out on the clutch, we're gonna give it some throttle. And once we start feeling that friction zone, we're gonna let off the, the brake a little bit. And then let off everything, there we go. And then you can just ride. Except for this is a dead end. So we're gonna go back down now. All right, again, I'm using, my, my clutch is in completely, and if you're going down a steep hill, I'm using both. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Let me see if I can coast with my, so on this one, you can coast in first. But if you don't want to do that, I'm using both my back and my front brake gently. So that the, the you know, if, you're, if there's gravel or anything on the ground, um, you're, uh, spreading the braking force out over a larger surface area increasing your friction with the ground basically that way you don't slide yeah hey you guys this was so fun i really appreciate the uh the uh, the, 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 the um, i can't think my, my brain's gone i really appreciate the the suggestion the questions so uh, if you guys have any more questions at all about these things, I am more than happy. If I don't know, like today, I wasn't 100% sure because I haven't had to do it. But it's fun to come out here and challenge myself to learn it. And then to be able, like, so you guys can kind of see, like, my theories and, and putting it into action. I encourage you guys always, if you're on a bike, just to get out. And, and like, just the other day or a couple weeks ago i rode up to the top of a mountain nearby took this bike i have actually made a video uh, i took this bike out onto the dirt for my first time um and it is it was such a good learning experience i was so scared of riding this thing on the dirt i thought i was gonna lose it but it was actually a lot easier as long as you're gentle with things it was a lot easier so i encourage you guys to always um not push your limits and i'm not saying like so don't be dumb about it don't push your limits. Don't try to take a corner faster and faster and faster. Um, on, on like, but to find situations where you can like be safe and learn new skills, I think that is the best thing that you guys can do. Because I, what I imagine, this is my dream. I'm gonna share this with you guys. What I imagine is being able to be so comfortable on these motorcycles that. I can literally take it anywhere. Like I wanted to practice on the dirt because I have my favorite swimming spot. But it is a long walk on a dirt road to get down to it. And how cool, and the car can't get down there because it's too narrow. So how cool would it be to be good enough on like even just a street bike? I mean, yeah, I could take a dirt bike out there no problem, but on a street bike, it'd be so cool to be able to go out there and just ride ride all the way down to it and just the adventure in it i want to be able to adventure so yeah i'm pretty sure like i was talking about three subjects at the same time just there uh, anyways uh so i will always answer i'll try my best to answer questions and if it's something i'm not sure about or something i can present to you guys i'll come out here and i'll try it and i'll make a video about it so please if you got questions don't be afraid to ask um and other than that most of my videos are typically just rambling like what i'm doing right now except for just i i usually try to pick a topic and i talk about a topic just things that have been on my mind so uh, if any of that seems interesting to you guys feel free to subscribe to the channel i would appreciate it and again don't be afraid to ask a question um, nobody's gonna look at you and think you're dumb because you don't know it you know we all have to learn 
and I want this to be a, a space where you guys feel uh, comfortable, you know, learning. So that's 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 the goal, and we are red. <laughs>